hello guys welcome back to the tarot tips and in this video we're going to talk about how to fix the nfs unbound is not launching crashing freezing black screen issue and even fps drop and all these kind of stuttering issue and how we can fix this app the game is released right now and i'm i'm just wanted to let you know this so just wait for this so the first one is all about when you're trying to launch the game for the first time this might take a little bit of time so this is happening for many of the users and they think they are having the issue it's actually not the issue when they're trying to play the game for the first time after successfully downloading for some users it is going to take a little bit of time so you just have to wait for hardly five to six minutes just wait for hardly five to six minutes once it is done it will be launching so you don't have to get panic and this is what you have to do moving to the next one is all about you have to restart your pc for that just go over here in the start right click and go over here and go for restart after restarting try to launch the game and most probably that will be also working good and if it's not working then we just have to move to the next one next one is all about you have to delete dx12 files for that you can go it into two way the first one is from the steam itself select the game right click and go to properties now go to local files click on browse when you click on browse it will be redirected to or navigated to this particular folder where the game is installed as you can see this is the path of the game so now here you have to select shader cache from here select shader cache now from here as you can see we are having two options over here as you can see just delete both these things you have to delete both these things especially uh, the dx12 but keep in mind that when you're deleting it just take a backup like you have to copy this and paste somewhere else on the desktop or somewhere else keep it a backup so paste it somewhere else because uh, you know it is quite important as well so make sure after that just delete the generic pcdx12 we have to delete it and after that try to see whether you are able to fix the issue or not and if it's not working then we can move to the next one and also apart from that you can navigate to from the this pc itself so just open uh, the uh, this pc now from here go to local dc now from here where the game is installed select program file 86 now from here scroll down and navigate to steam select steam now from here go for steam apps select common now from here select the exa calibur folder open this now from here go to shader cache and as you can see you will be able to find the d extra just delete it and also make sure you have taken the backup so it is quite important you can go it in this way also the next one is all about you have to delete the save game files so when you are trying to play the game most probably a game file will be saved in the my documents so it is quite important that if you go to the my documents it should be working good so you just go to the document and over here you can see most probably you will be having the need for speed heat so just delete this folder so keep in mind that when you're deleting this folder you will be losing all the uh, stages of the game so it is quite important as well so you have to start from the scratch but deleting this has worked for many of the users and that's why i recommend you guys you can do this up moving to the next one is all about you have to open ea app launch the game on the steam and i don't know why this is happening or it is working for many of the users but this has worked so what do you have to just open your ea app so like this okay once ea app is already open just go to the open steam as well now play the game from the steam so this has worked for many of the users and i have no idea why this is working but this is one of the working method you can try out moving to the next one is all about you have to allow the game exe file to the windows security firewall as well as antivirus so for that just uh, go over here in the search now search for control panel so over here just navigate to windows defender firewall select this one now from here click on allow an app or feature through windows defender firewall now from here you have to select whether you are able to see nfs most probably it will be there and if it's not there don't get panicked you can just see from here itself if it's nfs is not there we need to add it so for adding the nfs you just have to click on allow another app now from here click on browse now from here go to this pc select local to see where the game is installed or in your case if it is on any other drive select the respective drive go to program file x86 scroll down and navigate to steam now select steam apps now go to shader cache it's not steam app you have to select steam apps common now from here go to exa calibur 
Now from here you have to select the .exe. Now you have to select the .exe and try to play the game. I mean you have to add it and this is what you have to do and most probably after adding the this particular thing over here and most probably they should be completely fixed and you have to add it and if you add it you will be able to see it and also make sure when you added it it should be checked that means for the private and public it should be checked it should not be unchecked so that is quite important as well once it is added to the window security close everything back go back to the steam and try to launch the game and that will be working good Moving to the next one is all about you have to try launch the game from the origin if you can close EA app as well first. So try to launch the game from the e, uh, origin and close the EA. Right now as you can see EA is running in the background. Just close EA and try to launch the game from the origin and this has worked for many users as well. And moving to the next one is all about you have to install the graphics card manually. So as you know that we are uh, the graphics card is quite important when it comes to uh, the crashing and all those things so we just have to go for that. So I'll be providing both a link in the description to these that is one is for Nvidia users and another one is for the AMD users. So from here you have to go to this particular link and from here you have to select the product type, product series, product, operating system, language and all the things. So right now as you can see the operating system right now which is running in my background is Windows 11. So I have to change this to Windows 11 and I have to select everything and go for start search. And when you go for start search you will be able to get all these kind of details. And as you can see there is a version which is 527.37 which is the latest one and it is released on December 1, 2022. So just download this one. Once after downloading, you have to open the .exe and install it as quite usual. So you can click on uh, download now. So it will be getting downloaded. So it is around 813 MB. So I'll just download it. So in the meantime, I'll be showing you the next step. So I'll be showing you how to install because some of the users get confused. So moving to the next one is all about you have to go to AMD. For the AMD users, just select the graphics card. Then select the respective model. If you are on Radeon uh, RX 600 series etc. Just select the respective model. Go for the respective one and go for submit. When you go for submit you will be getting two options. One is for Windows 11 64 bit and another one is for Windows 10 64 bit. And if you are operating on Windows 10 select this one. And if you are on operating on Windows 11 select this one. And from here you have to download the AMD software Adrenaline Edition. You should not be selecting this one. Download this one. And download the latest patch which is on 12.1.2022 uh, just download this one after downloading this same install the .exe and most probably after updating the graphics card to manually the issue will be completely fixed and you will not be having the issue but even if you are having the issue we can follow the next one next one is all about you have to run the game on the dedicated graphics card for that just go over here search for graphics settings select this one now from here as you can see here I have already added many games simultaneously you have to add the same click on browse now from here go to the location where the game is installed which is on local C now go to program file 86 from here go to steam now select steam apps select common now from here select exa calibur now from here you have to select the installer and from here you have to add the .exe and once you are successfully added the .exe you are good to go with that just add the application now just add it so as you can see it will be available here now from here what you have to do is you have to click on the option because by default it will be into let windows decide you have to change this one to high performance and once it's done you have just go for save and most probably you're good to go with that once the game is done on dedicated graphics card just close everything Go back to the steam and try to play the game and you're good to go with that moon to the next one is all about you have to increase your virtual ram for that it is quite important step as well you have to go to the search search for view advanced system setting open this one now from here go to advanced click on settings now go for advanced once again then go for change now from here click on custom size as you can see we have to give the value for initial size as well as for the maximum size so just go over here on settings just go to uh, system and check which what is your ram for that just go to system scroll down and go to about now from here as you can see i'm running on 32 gb ram so based on this we are doing the calculation so it is quite important to know what is your ram 
so just close everything and have to we have to give the value that is initial size as well as maximum size so initial size is always 1.5 times the total ram and maximum size is 3 times the total ram we need to do the calculation so we need a calculator so just search for calculator and open this now the first one is we knew that the ram is 32 gb so i have to type here 32 into we have to do the conversion to mb that is 1024 when you do this you will be getting a value around 32768 now you just have to multiply it with 1.5 so that is around 49152 so just copy this and paste it on the initial size simultaneously you have to do the calculation for the next one that is maximum size first do the conversion that is 32 gb is my ram into 1024 which is the conversion so just go for this one and you will be getting 32768 now multiply it with 3, so you'll be getting 98,304. Just copy this, now paste it. Once it is pasted, just go for OK, then everything is done. Just go back to the Steam, try to play the game and this has worked for many of the users. Moving to the next one is all about, you have to download and install Microsoft Visual C++. I have already downloaded it and this is quite one of the interesting factor and it's going to fix many of the issues. So if you are on the 86 bit just download this one and if you are on the 64 bit just download this one here i have already downloaded it just download this one and install it and most probably after installing try to do a restart then try to launch the game and most probably that will be working moving to the next one is all about you have to update your windows for that just go over here in the search go to settings now from here go to windows update and now you just have to click on update so if you are getting the update and it is quite important that we should be running in the uh, os which is on the latest versions or, or else we'll be having the os trouble which is causing the issue so just update your windows after updating your windows try to launch the game and most probably that will be helping guys out even after trying if it's still not working then i just have to give you some parallel methods that is all about you have to disconnect everything for example if you already might be connected with controllers maybe you'll be using dual monitors and all those things so i request you, you have to eject everything from your usb port even the controllers reject everything and once after eject, ejecting everything and the usb ports are completely free try to launch the game after launching the game connect the controllers you should not be connecting the controller at the first and this has worked for many of the users as well as and they have shared it in the reddit so it is very important they should be ejecting everything from the controllers uh, dual monitors any logitech wheels if you are trying to play any uh, connectors and as well as any joystick if you are trying to play everything should be disconnected once launch the game connect it back and most probably that will be helping guys out moving to the next one apart from this is all about you have to update the graphics card but before that for some users they are having the trouble and the trouble is because they are not downgrading the graphics card because updating the graphics card is not only working but sometimes you have to downgrade the graphics card so like i told about if you go over here as you can see right now we are on the latest version which is on the latest latest patch but even for some users when they go for this one you know they had this kind of issue because they downloaded the latest version but the particular latest version is not working for their pc but when they roll back the graphics card to the older version it worked for them first thing you just go over here in the start right click and go to device manager now from here you have to go to display adapters and select it and right click and go to properties and go to driver and select whether you are able to see roll back driver most probably if you already done with this it will not be available it will be grayed out but here i haven't done it i, I already done so that's why it is grayed out so you just have to click it and roll back the driver once you're done with the rolling back the driver just go over here and you should not be downloading the latest version but just go down and download the little bit older versions and download and install it when you are installing it the important step which i mentioned above is just have to open this when you open it you will be getting two options install it on uh, directly to this and you have to do a custom size custom option also just go for here and once it is done i'll be showing you that let it be in between so download the older version and that has worked for many of the users and that's why i'm recommending you guys you can try the same and moving to the next one apart from this is all about you have to uninstall the game and reinstall it back on the another drive for example as you can see you can do it from here itself right click and go to manage uninstall the game but like i said above i am having only local disk c but in a case you will be having multiple disk so if you are having multiple disk you should not be 
uh, installing the game on the same which already done you can depend on D or E or F just install the game on any one of these right once it is successfully done just try to play the game reinstall back and most probably the issue will be completely fixed and for the some users it is also worked for them that is all about I'll be showing you that in between just go over here as you can see in the Nvidia like I said above we need to do few things let get open so over here as you can see if the check uh, it is checking the system compatibility when you're trying to install most of the users get a mistake that is they just install it manually like this like the Nvidia GF you have to select this one and go for agree and continue but over here on the installer option it is quite important that should be selecting custom you should not be selecting express most of the users select this one and that is why they are having even many issue so that's why i'm pointing you out this you have to install custom you should not be depending on other just go for next and install it so this is the very important step here go for next and install it then most probably that will be fine and also i'll be showing you some of the corrections to be made even in the game for that you just have to launch the game for example you have to uh, try with windowed mode and you have to uh, i mean low down the graphics so all these kind of things can be only done when you launch the game so you have to launch the game that is quite important so when you launch the game what you have to do is you just have to follow the instructions very carefully that is you have to do is just have to do is you just have to lower the graphics quality like if you're running in anything in between just lower the quality as well as uh, you know you have to make few changes in the graphics settings of the game so so guys that's all about when it comes to how to fix the nfs nbound sorry unbound is not launching crashing freezing black screen issue fps is drop stuttering and everything and how you can fix this up and i hope this video is helpful and if you find this video helpful don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more notification see you soon in the next video peace out bye 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 bye